What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the next part of our Shopify series. And in this one, I'll be covering the billing portion in the settings menu. So before we get started, of course, you all know my name is Angela Bonaparte from Cosmos Inc. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you all will be notified every time I post new content. After that, be sure to join our Facebook group where we talk about sublimation. So in order to join the group, make sure you hit the link down, down in the description and then it'll take you straight to the group. After that, uh, be sure to order from us. All right, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business, be sure to hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you immediately. So due to the uh, confidential information that's on the billing tab, I can't show that screen on here, but I can definitely talk about the options and let you know based on the uh, setup of that screen and the setup of this screen exactly where everything is at. All right. So when you click right here on billing, this screen right here you see in front of you is going to change. And then this part right here where it says settings is going to turn into billing. And then underneath that is going to be the first section, which is called payment methods. And that pretty much says uh, manage how you pay your bills in Shopify. When balance is enabled, but the available amount isn't enough to cover the cost of your bill, your other payment methods will be used. Learn more about your Shopify balance and it has Shopify balance as a clickable link. Then when you go over here, so right here in this area is going to say use Shopify balance to pay your bills. Right now it's off, but honestly, I recommend checking that box on. And that's because let's say you have an item that you have to ship out, but you may not have the money to cover shipping that item. Uh, personally, I recommend you always have money for stuff like that. But, you know, things happen and whatnot. So if you need to go ahead and use that Shopify balance to ship that item out, you absolutely can. And to do that, just make sure you click the button right here and it'll go from the left to the right. And it'll be I want to say blue. Let's check it right now. Yep, it'll turn like a like a bluish color. So that way, you know that it's on. So uh, like I say, it pulls that money from your Shopify balance in order to send out an item. So if you fulfill an order extremely fast, like as soon as you get the order, you're pretty much done with it within a couple of hours and you're sending it out. It'll go ahead and transfer or it'll go ahead and pull the um the like the shipping fee you know like other little fees that may be associated which it shouldn't really be any but it'll pull that from that balance now if you have a super large order and um you know it's going to take you at least like two or more days to complete then just in case if you don't have enough money in that account right there at that time uh right underneath right here where it says uh use the shopify balance right underneath about right here is going to have your card information. So if it if you don't have that money anymore in the available balance part to cover it, it'll pull the money that it need for uh, shipping and you know for anything else directly off of your card. So I recommend you know that as well. Always have a card you know on file. I don't even think you can uh, not have a card on file to be honest. But uh, yeah, those are going to be your two options as far as for your payment methods for billing, which means that you have to pay, you know, Shopify. This is not to get confused with payouts. This is how you pay your bill. All right. Right underneath that about right here is going to say bills and bills is your monthly bill is on a 30 day cycle. It includes your Shopify subscription, app charges, shipping labels and transaction fees. And then right here is going to say current billing cycle my current billing cycle is to be billed on february 18th uh 2021 and uh, after that it's going to you know charge me every 18th of the month it says if you reach 60 dollars in fees before the end of your billing cycle a fee threshold will be issued uh automatically your fee threshold doesn't include subscription charges so pretty much once you hit that threshold like for me because it's a brand new site um, once I hit that $60 within that uh, within my billing cycle, it'll automatically pull whatever I owe. So if it's $80 or $90 or whatever I owe, it'll automatically pull that from the card that I have listed on here as my payment method. The one we were just talking about right here in this area. After that, you have right beneath that, you have your recent bills. So recent bills, it says uh, pretty much what have you, you know, paid uh, recently. 
Um, for us, it was the domain when we did our domain registration for the uh, domain registration for number four eversong.com since we bought that domain through Shopify. And it says uh, it's paid and that was uh, $14 like it was earlier. Uh, right underneath that in this area right here, it'll say there are no credits on your account right now. Your credits will be shown here when you have them. So pretty much if you were to, um, uh, let's say you print out a shipping label and uh, they cancel the order, right? Or Well, not cancel it because you're going to refund them that. But let's say something happens and you got to cancel it. Uh, you know, got to get rid of the shipping label or print a new shipping label because something happened to it or whatever. When you cancel that shipping label, it'll give you the money back as a credit. So it's not going to put it back on your card. It'll just put it, you know, in the system as, you know, hey, you know, you have X amount of money as a credit. So then from there, if you were to print out another label or if it was a, a, a app charge, like they said earlier or anything like that, it'll pull from that credit to reduce the balance that you owe for your bill. Underneath that down here, it says a finance overview an overview of your billing, uh, yeah, of your billing and payouts. And let's click on that. So that just says finance overview, uh, Shopify fees, uh, which right now is only our domain. And then after that on the other side, so yeah, right here in this box, it's going to say Shopify fees. Then you come over to this box over here in this area is going to say Shopify payouts. So your fees, of course, are what you have to pay to Shopify. Like right now, it's only our domain because we don't have any sales. But once we start getting sales, of course, it's going to show your processing fee. Um, you know, any other fees that are associated with that, like your uh, uh, shipping labels, if you're buying them through, um, uh, buying them through Shopify. Uh, you know, and pretty much anything else that's a Shopify fee. And then, of course, over here is going to list your Shopify payouts. So once you start getting orders in. Um, you know, orders in every day or, you know, once every other day or just, you know, however often uh, when that money builds up into a pool and it goes to pay that money out, it's going to pay it out. But in large chunks, pretty much almost every day after that uh, processing period that we were talking about as far as like up to like two days. All right. So once it sends it out and it's in route to you and it's, it, it shows paid, but then you'll get it later on that night once, you know, depending on your bank, uh, once it clears, you know, that, that money to be, you know, accepted in, then it'll go on that screen as the, uh, Shopify payouts. All right. So you can go back through your history and check, you know, how often you've been paid and on what days, how much you've been paid and whatnot. So that pretty much wraps up, not pretty much that do wrap up the billing part. So that is it for that. Um, if you have, uh, you know, anything to say, definitely put it down in the comments down below. And like I said, traditionally, I would show that screen on here. But since it's, you know, very confidential, I'm not going to, you know, post that uh, for the world to see. All right. So that wraps up everything. Once again, my name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. After you do that, be sure to join our Facebook group where we cover sublimation. So if you are interested in learning about sublimation, be sure to hit that link down below as well. And last but not least, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business, hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you. All right. I will see you all in the very next part of this series. Angelo out.